Hola Kinaleto, aka Mahadi, not Mahali, the girl that calls for countries home, Lesotho, South Africa, Great Britain, and Australia, May. I should say five countries. <laughs> Y'all be knowing I am Zimbo by conception. <laughs> Makadi, the Reaper. Hey guys, all my days. So your girl was lying down because she has a cold. No, it's not the cocoa. It's the cold. And um, yeah, I, I was woken up by a phone call. And now I can't sleep. I don't usually answer calls. Um, I don't like phone calls. Just text me or send me a voice note. But um, I'm trying to do better. You know, we're going to the new year. We're going to be better. We're trying to do better and be better. So I picked up the call and it was from an unknown number. And like, I, I, if I don't even know who you are, I'm not going to answer. If I know who you are, and I don't feel like talking, which is quite a lot of times. I won't answer, but I will call you back. Once I feel like talking, which is, it's usually just within like half an hour or, yeah. Um, so I picked the phone. Ugh, it was a beautiful phone call. Uh, so thoughtful of the person to call me and check on me. So I'm happy I picked that up. And then I see the news of Megan Good and, um, What's their husband's name? Yo, how am I forgetting Devon? Devon, isn't it? They're splitting. How? Hi guys, I feel like someone has died. Like I've. Yeah. I shared that on um on my whatsapp status and like people are just it's uh... and then this girl sends me a thing i've just sent her a 15 minute voice note now and i'm thinking i should have just come to talk about that rather than sending her but it was a chat it was a it was it was our chats anyway like what's going on what's going on why are people breaking up I've spoken about this before when um, Nikki thought um, separated from the husband. I can't remember his name. Goodness. We'll blame it on the cold. <sighs> so now this girl, she gives me five couples that she personally looked up to four of them are divorcing i happen to be <laughs> on the list oh my days i feel bad i feel really bad but you guys know i know i've been telling you guys know we tried like we tried oh my goodness Ah, she's the second person to say to me, there's two girls, I feel like I mentioned it here, but I don't remember on which video. I don't have a video with that title. I had two people who were saying now they're afraid of marriage. If we broke up, then it's the hope, you know? And of course, our situation is very, very, very unique, I believe. So now I'm trying to find out. Of course, uh, Devon and Megan, they 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 put out a statement, you know, which, uh, copied and pasted same statement on both of their things. They're grateful for their life. They've had they they've been together as husband husband and wife for nine years, but have now decided to go ahead in separate directions. Um, to yeah to separately move forward uh but they will always love each other or something like that hey guys okay, okay. i'm heartbroken i am heartbroken um 
I mean, I, I turned this thing on because I felt like I have a lot to say, but now I'm realizing that a lot that I have to say is about my marriage. And <laughs> I think we all need a break from that. Um, but I really, I don't know what's going on with them, but I really believe two things, social media and COVID have a lot to do with everything. Um, you know, because this girl asked me is like, what did our parents do? Right. What are we doing wrong? How come our parents lasted? You know, um, I don't think our parents were without their faults or mistake mistakes, but they didn't have social media. They didn't have, um, lives that are displayed publicly that anyone can um, look at and say, oh, okay, these ones think they're clever, we will show them. Uh, I'm not saying that's what people do, but I got a long email, lots and lots of emails. I call them emails, but just inbox. A lot of messages from one guy who was sort of like our parent. Um, he didn't know what's going on. He was just checking on us. He's been off Facebook for clearly a long time. Um, he was just shocked that uh, my husband and I are not together anymore, you know. He was saying, please, please don't let the devil do this. Um, you know, I had a dream and there were girls just looking at you guys seeing you dance, seeing you post, being happy. There was these girls that decided that, oh, we're going to finish this whole thing. This kind of thing, and I think we're going to color it. They'll see, oh, they think, mm, okay, we're going to get that man and show her or whatever. I mean, I don't know what girls think. Um, I don't know if people actually think like that, if there are people just sitting there that see people who are happy and they're like, ah, ah. Because what I know is it does create envy when you post your happy selves. But then we all forget that we are all posting our happy selves on social media. And I'm all for people celebrating their marriages and their love publicly, you know, because that gives hope. And fortunately, it also breeds um, jealousy, you know. Um, so I think couples are dealing with that. Uh, you get quite a lot of attention as well from other people when you post your happy selves, you know. Women are always um, envious of... They will publicly post, oh, I wish I had a man like this. Oh, I want a husband like you. Oh, this and this. And those things can go to people's heads, you know. Um... Yeah. And then there's keeping up with the Joneses. You are seeing people on social media living a certain lifestyle and you feel like you're not um you're not quite leveling up and then you start spending beyond your means because you're trying to show that flashy lifestyle on Insta. And of course this then causes a drift at home because a rift at home because I mean, you're finishing the finances, you, you're getting into debt, you're not following the, the family's budget, you're all over the place because you're trying to please people who don't even care, you know? And then there's another aspect of that, you're seeing people prospering and you feel like you are so far behind or you're such a failure because you're not there. You're not providing that for your wife, you know, or your wife just feels like, oh my goodness, I wish my husband could buy me that. I wish that, you know, you're just seeing what other husbands are doing and you feel like, oh man, sabawel, you sabawelling. Now the husband feels inadequate, you know, and then depression. I mean, these things can go really deep, you know. I truly believe that social media is our 
downfall. Social media is the death of our marriages and relationships. I really uh, feel like you need an, uh, a huge amount of um, maturity to be able to just stay in your lane and always be aware that social media is social media. It's not real. It's not real life. There's real life. There's social media life. You know? Um, and we all post our happy moments. So we're all like striving for this perfection that's not even there. You know, even the people that post those lifestyles, these people are not necessarily happy. And so what if they are? You know? We should be inspired to pursue happiness um which i guess then is also there's a flip side because then in your pursuit of happiness you feel you know what i'm not happy with this wife i'm not happy with this husband i'm not happy with this life i'm leaving i'm out of here my happiness comes first <laughs> um so yeah social media social media social media I feel is the problem. It's the biggest culprit. Of course, then it's what we do, you know, our own, because we're not all at the same level of discipline, of mental strength, of emotional uh, intelligence. We're all at different places. So we are, we are affected differently by different things. I mean, I don't know why, what's happening, of course, in the camp of the Franklins. Um, or any other people splitting. But I really feel like COVID has affected us all in so many different ways. We have lost people. We have lost jobs. We have lost confidence in humanity. We've seen each other at our worst, at our greatest fears. And we may not have liked how our partners are, are dealing with this whole panic thing going on. Or we may not have liked how they've quit their jobs because they're not vaccinating. Whatever. I don't know. But yeah, just the despondency. We're, we're losing people and we just don't have the will to live. And the partner can't cope with you now being depressed. There's all sorts of things. I mean, so many things can go on, can go wrong. So many things cause people to break up. And a lot of times, there's not even big things that happened, you know? Sometimes it's small things that have been building up and people not communicating that they're unhappy about something, you know? Um, and some people check out and they're still pretending to be in the moment and yet they've been working on their exit plan all these years, you know? Some people, there's not even any reason. You, you haven't even done anything as a spouse. People have just checked out. They just want something more exciting, something new, something fresh. Why did our parents stay? I feel like also, um, I mean, looking at the African couples or even Indian, any other couples that have left home. I know when we got to the UK, there was quite a lot of people uh, divorcing. Um that are not from the UK, you know, coming from a community where you have your parents, you have your brothers, you have your, um, sometimes not immediate family, but just the culture, even the thought of divorce wouldn't even cross your mind. Um, because you, you, you know, you have, you have people around you. Divorce is not even something you think of. And if you do, there's someone to talk to. There's someone who can, make you see things and you know oh, you can see that your problem is not so difficult or rather divorce is not your solution to your problem when you see much more uh positives in actually staying and working on things than leaving because leaving is not is not gonna solve any of your problems actually it's gonna, you're gonna have more problems now to deal with. You have now another uh, relationship to deal with. And you still have this one that you 
because you have children and sometimes yeah the wisdom of of older people the wisdom of of um people that are the same with you culturally you know people that are because yeah out here it's all about every man for himself so i don't know with people that that are like megan and, and devon who um I mean, they they're in America. They it's not like they're away from family. I mean, I don't quite know their story, but um, I think there's hope in marriages. You know, I was talking to someone, uh, and he was saying to me, "I need a. Can you be my mentor? You know, I'm so terrified. I feel like he's he's married. He's happily married. He has an amazing wife, but he he's scared that it's not gonna last." That broke my heart. I thought that was so sad. And today now with the good um, news and everyone commenting on the on my WhatsApp uh, status, people are afraid to even get married. People who are married are afraid that their marriage are not going to last. And I think that's so sad. I think if anything um, I want you to take from this video is please, please, please don't think like that. Enjoy your spouse, okay? Enjoy your spouse. There's nothing worse than being married and you're afraid. You're afraid that one day you'll wake up and this person will be gone or they'll say they want to leave. Nothing worse. That's traumatic. That's traumatic. Live and treat your spouse as though they will never leave. As though you will never leave. As though this is home forever. You are going to grow old together. If that's not what ends up happening. If they end up leaving. Deal with it when you get there. God will give you strength. God will give you strength. But there's nothing more joyful. Joyous. Um, than knowing you did everything right. Because there's nothing worse than feeling the guilt of the marriage breaking down. You know, nothing worse than feeling I should have, I could have, I wish. So please be present. Be present. Be loving. Love that man. Love that man, sis. Love that woman. Treasure your person treasure your person you chose them because you love them you know um and for those thinking of leaving <laughs> i'm reminded of uh pastor papu's um clip i wish i can find it and then put it here oh but it's in closer you know he says you oh, i'm gonna spoil it because it's, it's it's not it's, it's not gonna be the same in english but you know he's saying can't come and complain oh, oh oh he's such a fool he's just sitting there he's so useless he's not working whatever he says but you chose him you know you chose him <laughs> you married him yeah he's a fool he's retarded you married that retard he's yours <laughs> he's yours <laughs> for life oh she's fat now are you married to her yes Oh, I'm attracted to another girl. Hey, whatever, whatever. Are you married to that girl? No. So, the person you have you have a loyal loyalty to is your wife. She's fat. She's this. She's not this. Oh, she's not cleaning. She, whatever. Is she your wife? Yes. So, that's your wife. She's yours. Yeah, she doesn't clean. She herself, but she is your wife. So, he's your husband. She's your wife. You committed. You said till death to us part. You invited us to come buy expensive clothes. We did our hair, our makeup, and came to witness. Don't, don't waste our, our time and our money. Please, stay. That's your person. You married them. You married them. They're yours. You're stuck. For life, you said till death. Are they dead? No. Where are you going? Stay. <laughs> yeah, guys. Oh my days. Yeah. Be a clear.
that's what I was gonna share. I wasn't actually gonna share exactly that, but yeah, that's what the spirit led for me to share. Um, pray for me. I need to be okay. My voice, oh my days. But yeah, keep hydrated. Um, don't get COVID. Keep safe as you're traveling home and whatever in this um, festive season. Love your spouse. Love your future spouse. Like if you have someone you're planning on getting married, please, please, please. Don't look at people breaking up and decide you're not going to experience that. Marriage is beautiful. Don't rob yourself of experiencing the beauty of marriage because other people are breaking up. Please. Take a leap of faith and get into it. Even if you only get to experience it for five years. You have got to experience it. It's beautiful. And if you can last forever, last forever. By God's grace, nothing is impossible. No, the devil is not winning. The devil is not winning. He's a defeated foe. We, you, are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. The Bible tells us. So the devil is not winning. When the, de the devil is winning, when we walk away from God, that's when the devil is winning. Okay. But well, some marriages are so toxic that you will actually leave God. If you stay in them, you have to get out. You have to get out, you know? So the devil is not winning. No, sis. The devil is not winning. He's not, he's not. He's not you've been betrayed if he be he betrays you if you end up losing faith in god and thinking god doesn't love you or god doesn't exist or god this or god that or that your prayers nobody listens to your prayers nobody can hear your prayers that's when the devil is winning not when your husband walks away not when your wife walks away nah that's not God, not, that's not the devil winning at all. And remember, God works in mysterious ways. We will understand it better by and by. We will understand one day why we went through certain things. And we mostly go through, um, what was it? Something, something, someone said, ah, things don't happen to you. Things happen for you. Ah, <laughs> things don't happen to you. Things happen for you. Remember that. Hold your head up high. And know that you are royalty. More than a conqueror. Not just a conqueror. More than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Nothing. Nothing is impossible when you reach out to God. Stay safe. Love you. But remember that God loves you even more. Ciao, ciao. so much for watching everything now don't forget to subscribe and go back to my other videos and scroll and scroll and scroll and watch everything there's very good things in here very good interesting things you are number one number one now thank you and take care of yourself